that you have to walk a mile in somebody's shoes to understand what they're uh, about sometimes. And I think we need to be prepared to do that sometimes. This is obviously one of the holiest months uh, for, for ourselves. Spiritually, like I mentioned, it, it gives me an opportunity really to reconnect with my religion, really. Uh, bringing in a better understanding of, of, of what it means to, to really appreciate the things that I've, I have. I've never fasted, um, but I've obviously worked around people that have. So it was a basic curiosity to see uh, just what that challenge would be like, just to, uh, um, only for a day, of course, you know, it's nothing like uh, the month that you guys are doing. Obviously, that's a whole different level of challenge. But just for just for one simple day to remove the, the sort of comfort that you get from food and drink and to see what is, uh, you know, what that looks like. I made a commitment to follow through with the same pattern of behaviour and not just for one month, but after Ramzan to carry on and, and, and just a bit more apathy, a bit more understanding. I'm not really up at four o'clock or, you know, uh, quarter mm -hmm. to four very often. So it, it's, a, it's a strange time of the day when you just, uh, you, you know, having some food, you sat there thinking, you're mulling over your thoughts, very quiet and peaceful. When it comes to the morning, uh, when I'm going to eat again, rather than any, any heavy food, again, it's a case of porridge this year, uh, you know, uh, more, more uh, smoothies, fruit, uh, and that, that kind of a, a take, and I feel much better for it. The food wasn't so bad, uh, but I, I, I found it not drinking water really challenging. Um, and I, would, I remember we had an incident later on in the afternoon just before I finished work. And I remember talking to members of the public and, and then trying very hard to modulate my mood so I wasn't cranky or snappy with them. Because mm. there was some challenging part of that conversation and I needed to make sure that I was coming across in a really even and respectful mm. manner. So that was uh, interesting. And uh, my boss actually, she mentioned to me, you're a little bit cranky today, what's different? <laughs> and I mentioned the fast and she was like, you know, laughing with me saying, yeah, you're going to be looking forward to the evening meal. But uh, what was nice after I finished work, I, I walked home uh, and uh, got out into the countryside. So that was a nice way just again, mm. just to well, have a bit of reflection about the challenge uh, and reflecting on on the, what um, Muslim colleagues in the fire service have to go through. I was really honoured uh, to have colleagues like Ben who have undertaken this this uh, fasting challenge. And I sincerely mean that, you know, I, I was very, very, uh, it was a sense of uh, heart, heartfelt thanks, really, that people like uh, the, Ben and other people within the service undertook uh, the fast, because it meant a lot to me, a lot of support, really. My 13 year old son, um, he said he would join me in the fast as well. So um, we sat down together at the table. Luckily, my wife, I'd seen uh, how I come in and uh, sort of could measure. It was supposed to be my cook night, uh, but uh, she sort of said that she would cook for everybody. So my first drink with my son, we uh, had a really big glass of water each. Uh, and then we just took a moment before starting our uh, a dinner. And we just had simple uh, chicken with rice mm. and uh, steamed vegetables. But I remember uh, them green beans never tasted so good. <laughs> <laughs> they were delightful. <laughs> And this initiative helping to break down barriers and get people talking uh, and understanding as to why is it that Ben has decided to fast and and, and get Ben's and take uh, you know undertaking as regards to what 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 was it all about and it opens up avenues of conversation um, and it breaks down barriers and misunderstandings. For me, it's about choosing actively choosing kindness uh, and instead of having a barrier, let's make a conversation. You know uh, and. Let's not uh, stand at a distance.